Hi, my name is Adele and I am the product manager for Polling with Greenlink. And today we're gonna to talk about our newest polling accessory, the Poll Assist. But before we start, um, I just wanted to remind you guys all and let you know that we're actually giving away some pretty sweet Carhartt backpacks. So in order to win those, we just need you to kind of uh, engage and comment with us while we're broadcasting today. Feel free to throw any questions in chat and we'll address them throughout the show. And I'm also here with Alex. Did an intro, yeah. Too. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm Alex. I'm also with Greenlee on the product management side with Adele. Um, Adele is leading in polling, and this is one of my first times seeing the poll assist in action. So excited to see it going today. Adele, show us what it's yeah. all about. Yep. So before I run it, I just want to point out a couple of the key features. So um, as you might see some little weird gear, this on the end of the polar is the poll assist itself. So this is actually just an accessory. You don't have to buy a new polar. Um, if you already own a G6, a UT10, or a G10, it'll work with that. It's really easy to install. You might notice on the polar that you have, if you own one, this bar is green. But um, on the polar it's black, because all you have to do is remove that green bar, and then put this one in, and you're kind of set up and good to go. There's also a built-in um, patch cord right here for the foot switch that you just plug into your polar. And then it, you can actually plug the polar power right into the bottom of the, G, uh, the pull assist. So that way you're not, you don't need an extra outlet that consolidates all the cords for you. And then you would just plug the pull assist directly into power. And just a quick note on that, there is um, no reason that you have to do that. If for some reason you would like to plug the pull assist and the puller in separately, it's totally can. We're just trying to help you consolidate some cords. And then once you've got it all set up, you just want to make sure that this pulley is in line with the last wrap on the cap stand. Um, you can slide it anywhere along the sheet bar, so if you have less wraps, it'll slide in. And once it's lined up, all you have to do is lift the lever to put the rope in. And this does work with um, rope all the way up to one inch. So now that we've got it set up, I'm going to go ahead and run it for you. Um, what you're going to notice is I'm not actually standing anywhere near the puller. I'm going to be standing almost six feet away. And I will have a little bit of additional control over it using this pen. And just a heads up, you might be a little loud, but it shouldn't be too bad. So as you can see, I don't have to use hands. Um, I can I can stand around what I want, so it really does allow a lot of flexibility in your whole setup. Um, especially if you're gonna help pull set up and have space and make that easier. And then the pendant um, is allowing me to find the next. So, so if you look on the pendant, I can actually slow it down and allow the rope to slip on the capstan. So much like you would do uh, if you're going by hand, you can still control the pull completely with the pendant. I'm sorry. And if for some reason you wanted to switch back to uh, manual tailing during the pull, super easy. We have our um, right angle roller right on the sheet bar like we do on all of our pullers. So it's a quick switch uh, back to pulling by hand if you wanted to take over. So now that we talked about it a little bit, I'm gonna throw it over to Alex and we'll do some Q and A. Awesome, yeah. So I have, first question I kind of got was, I like how you, the distance you have from the puller really taking you away from kind of the line of fire and sort of danger. Where did this kind of idea come from? Or like why? Why is that important? Yeah. So um, a lot of job sites and things that I've been on, and a lot of comments, things I hear, hear from the field, uh, from our sales team, is that there's a lot of challenges when okay. you're setting up a puller. So you're not usually in a nice open room like this. A lot of times you'll be in a tight electrical closet, um, maybe pulling in a vault or something. And unfortunately, that means that sometimes the person operating the puller is standing somewhere that's not so safe. I know everybody has a story or knows somebody that had to stand so close to the puller, they're basically pulling kind of straight up mm -hmm. and they're standing exactly where you don't want to be. So okay. really the main motivation behind this was to make pull setup safer and then it just so happens that makes it hands-free and easier as well. Okay. And are we the first ones to have this? Thing? Yes. Okay. Yep. So this is a brand new product. There's nothing else like it on the market. Okay. And it, I know it's available in the U.S. because that's where we are today. Mm -hmm. Can we get it on Canada? Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. Available in the yeah. market too. 
And then this is brand new. When did it come out? Um, it actually launched about a month ago. So okay. it's brand new to the market. Um, we've had we have a couple in the field so far and getting a lot of really good feedback too. Okay. So I'm one of the first, or they're one of the first yes. to see this in action? You guys are probably the, <laughs> some of the first to, okay. to see it in action. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now it feels special. Yeah, okay. you should. So where is this put together? Where is this made? Yeah, so um, all of this is actually assembled uh, just down the road from us in Genoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Illinois. Okay, cool. And then we see, is it the G G6 here? This, this is the UT10, yep. UT10, sorry. What all is this able to be hooked up to? Yeah, so it works with the UT10, so this, this is the tugger that's been around the longest that it's compatible okay. with, so a lot of people probably own this one if they own one of the compatible tuggers. The other one um, is the G6, which is right behind me. And then the last one I don't have with me today, but that's the G10, which is our um, upgraded version of the UT10. But if you don't remember the model number, one of the easiest ways to think about it is any puller that has that green sheet bar on it and a foot switch jack for that quarter inch model jack, it'll work with. Okay. Can you point out the sheet bar? Yeah, yes. absolutely. I don't know if I'm too familiar with that. Yeah, one. so it's this, this palm bar with a roller. So okay. if you have an existing puller that has this, then it would be green. And then this hole on the side here that takes a foot switch jack like this. As long as it has that, it'll work with it. So some of our older pullers um, did not have a uh, momentary control, so those, they would not work with those. Okay. And that actually kind of leads me to my next question I had, is I know with these sometimes customers are pulling a little too hard on the rope. Mm -hmm. Is that going to solve that, or is there built-in safety here so yeah. that's not continuing to happen? Yeah, so um, the pulses can do up to 85 pounds of force. So, but that does not mean it's zero to 85. So that pendant that I'm holding is not a control that goes from zero pounds of force all up to 85. It's okay. actually smart enough to tell kind of how fast the um, pulley is spinning, therefore it knows how much tension is on the rope. So okay. it kind of gives you like a power band. So you're exactly right. It will really help eliminate um, bogging down the puller because if you pull too hard on it, you're putting additional strain on it and a lot of times spiking that pull force up and putting additional stress on the puller when there shouldn't be any. Okay, cool. And that's the pendant you had in your pocket, right? Yeah, yep. Okay. So that's this pendant uh, that I was talking about. One of the other cool features about it, um, it also has a magnet on the back and a belt clip. So it makes it super easy. You can clip it onto your jeans or pants just like I have, or if you're, depending on how you're set up, you could even have it stuck straight onto the boom. Um, for storage, I like putting it just straight on the full system itself. So. Okay, and I'm clumsy. I lose stuff all the time, and I'm sure that happens at the job site too. Is that replaceable? Yes, yep. Okay. Um, this is totally field replaceable. It just screws, it's just a connection that screws on the back. Oh, cool, okay. Yep. Yep, um, the power cord is too. The only thing that's hardwired in right now is the foot switch patch cord. Everything else can be um, swapped and taken on and off pretty oh, easily. Awesome. You guys thought of it all. Yeah, we tried. Yeah, too easy. <laughs> we did our very best. <laughs> okay, cool. That's for sure. Cool. I don't want to hog all the questions. Mikhail, was there anything that came across? So we have one question that came in that is asking what's the smallest rope it will work with? Yeah, so we don't recommend using it uh, with ropes smaller than half an inch. That's what we tested it from half inch all the way up to one inch, and with uh, diff all sorts of different kinds of ropes as well. Okay, awesome. And then do you, do you have to use max wraps with this? No, no. So in the demo today, I did have oh, pretty much maximum wraps put on here, but you can actually slide the pull assist along the bar to line, as long as this V pulley is lined up with your lap strap, it'll run just fine. Okay. So, yeah. So also, is it going to work on high force pulls? Yes. So obviously today I didn't get anywhere near 10,000 pounds because we have a demo set up, but um, it is tested to work with our 10,000 pound tuggers, and yeah, it is fully capable of providing the healing, the healing force it needs to do a 10,000 pound pull. Okay, and then does it work with slip rope? Yes. So we tested it with all sorts of different kinds of ropes um, on the market that we're pulling today, and it, it works with slip rope just fine. Um, does the pull assist damage the rope at all? The pull assist damage the rope? No. So it's actually kind of interesting. We did, we put thousands of hours of testing on this just to make sure that was the case. And the V pulley will actually wear down before the rope does. Um, if that happens, it's field replaceable, but these grooves on the V pulley, since it's aluminum, they'll actually start to get shiny. And you'll notice the rope will start to slip. And, but you can just get this whole thing and it just, um, you just remove that shaft and put it on. It's super easy and quick to replace. And not to scare anyone, it will probably never need replacing unless you're doing a ton of pulling. We got about 2,000 hours on it before we saw any signs of wear that would need to be replaced. Okay, awesome. So, 
So I know we talked that the, uh, the pull assist launched about a month ago, but someone is asking if it's out with suppliers yet. Yeah, so um, we did let all of our distribution partners know. I don't know that very many of them are holding stock right now, but um, they're all set up and they can order it, so feel free to call your um, favorite distributor and ask them about it. We should then get an order going for you. All right, someone's asking about the giveaway items. What are we giving away today? <laughs> so today we are giving away this car park backpack. Um, so yeah, again, everyone out there that's asking these questions and engaging with us are good for being entered. And uh, we're, shortly after we wrap up the broadcast today, we'll uh, notify the winner. All right, beautiful. And if someone wants to see a job site demo, how, yes. are, how are they going to go about that? Yeah, so um, I highly, highly recommend if you have any interest in this at all, or it seems even remotely intriguing, you should do a demo. Um, in my experience, everybody that has seen it really starts to understand the value, but until you really feel it, it can be kind of hard to you know put a, put a, a number to it. But you can contact our PTS team. So we have a, tool, a team of professional tool specialists that uh, travel, they're located all around the country. They'll come out to you, they'll bring it with you, they'll do a live demo, they'll even let you use it on a poll. So if you have a poll client coming up, let them know, they'll bring in all the fun stuff and let you play with the new tools and toys and give it a try. Okay, that's awesome. And we have another question about rope sizing. Uh, can you give a little bit, uh, shine a little bit of light on that? Yeah, yeah, so um, rope size, um, we recommend half inch all the way up to one inch. Um, and again, any kind of rope will work, whether it's uh, the low friction coated rope, like the slick rope, or your typical nylon or polyester braided rope, it, they, it will all work. Okay, beautiful. I think that's all we have for questions today. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We will address them once we post this to our timeline. Um, but I think that's all we have for you guys today. All right. Thanks.